see the stuff, but I mean, I got some something to say. I got a channel message here. I got a lot of stuff written down in my book. So we gonna see. We gonna talk about it. We gonna get these things out. Then I'm pull some cards and boom, we gonna wrap this up. So I didn't even like reread over the notes. I literally just like free wrote all this stuff down. So hopefully, you know, I can organize it in some way as I'm telling you guys, okay, what's going on in the energy. So we're going to start with numbers, okay? Somebody could be 34, 18, 19, 25, 29, or 14, um, 48. I think I said 34. Um, somebody could be born in 2014, okay? uh 2020 or something about vision seeing things clearly somebody could be um born in 1940 somebody could be 40 somebody could be 43 somebody could be born in 92 somebody can be born in 63 or somebody can be 63 somebody could be born in 98 um somebody could be born in 84 somebody could be born in 89 okay you could be seeing a number 1055 which means change is coming your way okay this is literally like when i was done recording the message that came out about um somebody being delusional over your money and stuff. I had a missed call <clears throat> and it was a missed call from Yale New Haven Hospital. Okay. So somebody could um have that area code 203. You could also have the area code 312. Then I got a random text message like from somebody introducing themselves, but they're looking for somebody who's not me. And I've had this phone number for damn near 20 years. Okay. But 843 was the area code, and when I looked it up, that's that's like around the Charleston, South Carolina. I know I've been mentioning a lot about the Carolinas, okay? Um, so very significant, okay? Somebody's name could be Ethan or Jane. Somebody's name could be William. Somebody's last name could be Weber or Weber. Somebody's name could be John, okay? What else we got out here for names? That's pretty much all I see for names. Something about WW or like WWE, WWF. I don't know if it's fighting or wrestling, but there's something also about like a world war. This is something that's going on globally or somebody is like gotten a whole lot of people across the world involved in something. Okay. Korea is significant here. We have New Britain. We have Florida. We have Colorado. Something about Amityville or Amityville horrors. Okay. Um, California is out here. Chicago, Kentucky, Nebraska. Tennessee, Yale, okay, um, or Connecticut, because that's where that is. Um, somebody could be from the Northeast or the Tri-State area, okay, because I think I said Jersey and New York, um, Connecticut, that's Tri-State area, all right? Somebody could be going to the hospital, okay? Somebody could have sleep apnea or experiencing sleep paralysis or somebody is doing, or could be doing sleeping spells, or it could be that if somebody is trying to astral jack into your um energy while you're sleeping into your dreams somebody could be getting stuck there okay there's this is there's an assassination plan okay oh yeah year 71 could be significant and 01 as well okay um i said 40 84 yeah um what else somebody could either be going to like college yale or they could be going to jail because usually when i be like yale i'd be like you know in Spanish, them Ys are J's, so somebody going to jail, you know, so somebody could be going to jail. Somebody was doing animal sacrifices and attempted red rum. Okay, these are some junkies here. Somebody smokes something hard, like crack, heroin, or some shit like that. Oh, shit. Oh, I had to sneeze this right there and it won't come. Somebody don't want that to be... <coughs> yep, confirmation. Okay, there could be a Scorpio or a Pisces involved. Okay, or again, these illusions are over. I said that in the last reading. Some illusions are over. Somebody was trying to cause some sort of horror show in your life. Um, somebody is chicken. Somebody named could be John or somebody named John backed out of something. Okay, Boston could be significant as well. Um, something is happening in a month or like the next full moon or in a month. Okay, let's see. Did I get and something about a senator? Okay. Something about a safe act as well, trying to keep in it. And it was, it was an act that was put in by like a new, I think it was a New York senator who did this. And pretty much it was like to kick, keep kids safe from addictive energies, like on social media and stuff. So it's something about, you know, trying to brainwash the children or protecting the children. Like I said, this is a worldwide type of event as well. Like they're trying to kill a generation or dumb down a generation or something, especially with that college energy. Like they don't want these people. Like, whatever. But there's major changes that are coming. Whatever the agenda was, like, something's getting stopped. There, this was a major plan. Um, 
What else? I think, oh, and somebody could be in the army, okay? Or the army could be getting involved or something. Something with the army. Um, something with an antenna as well. So I don't know if it's like alien communication or somebody could feel like you're an alien or you're out of this world or something of that nature, okay? Um, yeah. So those are all the messages that came out about this. Let's see who this is for. Okay, yeah, moon, something about the um full moon in a month. The next full moon, about a month from now. Uranus, yeah, there's some sort of freedom or some sort of judgment that is being called. Like somebody's being let, let my people free. Okay. Aries, yeah, big daddy. He's saying let my people free. Okay, it's time for a new beginning. Like I said, new change change is coming into your life. Cancer season, told you. July. This is this is something like big. This is like on a global scale. Like I feel like we're gonna see a lot of like karmic energies just going down and in all avenues, all aspects of the game. Okay. Taurus popped back out again. They wanted to come back out. And we got moon, okay. I heard secret society. This is some secret shit about money. Somebody could be born on February 14th or it's about love. Valentine's Day. Yeah, Uranus. Somebody's definitely an Aquarius here. Okay. What else? We got Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got some sort of communication. Um, Virgo, Gemini energy. Mercury. Something about Wednesday. Okay. Something about Monday. Again, this is about... Somebody could also be trying to cast some sort of illusions here over people's money. Or like... I don't know why I'm feeling like... There's some sort of rise that's about to happen or like an increase or the, I don't know. Sagittarius, yeah, something's about to change here. Nine, okay. I heard hide the kids, hide the wife. So maybe this goes back to that reading. I'm um, sure. We got Libra. There's some sort of justice being done about some illusions that's been cast or some sort of secrets here, okay. Yeah, Pluto, Some st something that was hidden, okay. There's some justice that's about to be taking place here in this energy yeah cancer okay july 4th july the 4th what we got we got pisces so yeah i'm telling you it's an illusion here 12 so we got december 2nd 14th um 26th 15th 7th and the 4th we got february 12th 14th 26th 15th 7th and the 4th we got july 12th 2nd 14th 26th 15th and the 4th and then we got april 12th 2nd 14th 26th 15th and the 7th okay um, yeah, this is definitely dealing with like some sort of stability or financial matters. Somebody's trying to either dupe people out of stuff or like I said, dumb people down, get people thrown off their path or try trying to mess up homes. Somebody could be trying to mess up like somebody's home life. Some, yo, that's crazy. Like the mallet for my sound bowl just like started rolling. So like wood like rolling logs something's tumbling down something's coming down crashing like and i'm looking at this it's like you know how beavers build dams and you know it's like the woods are coming down or it's like i'm seeing that scene on um frozen 2 when they broke down a bridge and all the water came crashing down but elsa she came and she like put up the ice thing and stopped it all whatever she saved the day okay um i do feel like you do have people who are here to like protect you and save the day okay i feel like family is going to be very important at this time okay um get reconnected and ground up with your families you know um, i'm not just saying like everybody and all you know if you know that they toxic you know they did you wrong they out to get you i'm not talking about those people you know i'm talking about those good ones you know that you can always count on and and, and that look out for you and you know you look out for them whatever but yeah there's definitely some sort of co communication coming in this could be um, a legal proceeding here okay a mother could be receiving justice here okay or again yeah over a child or there could be some sort of paternity that is being released about some sort of child or something like that okay so yeah of course we're going to get the tea because yeah somebody's going bankrupt Damn, we're not in medicine. somebody's going bankrupt and i feel like you're not you're not this isn't anything i for you to worry about okay this is yeah like just keep shining because your light is what's irritating this is and this was pushing this for is what's making this happen because somebody's out here fake flexing but everybody's about to see that they're really bankrupt bankrupt on energy bankrupt on funds bankrupt on life this is somebody who was marrying for money here okay they was getting with people for money look and that's crazy travel marrying for money like they go place to place state to state looking for people so that they can get a buck yeah they keep trying to they go around Trying to fuck to get a buck, okay? 
And this is somebody who's trying to cast illusions over a lot of people. Something else is flipped over and is dead, bro. Is it? No. They're just upside down. I'm going to leave them that way. Yeah, seeing you're just, you're unbothered. Somebody wants you to be bothered by what they're doing, but they don't understand that they're causing their own demise. Like, yeah, hooked. Somebody got caught up in, in a bad life. Yeah, clout hungry. Doing anything, trying to chase after some false dream or a false narrative or some shit like that. Yeah, creeping. They hoping that nobody knows what they're doing. Yeah, screenshot, okay? Getting proof of evidence. They're hoping, and like they're peeking. They're hoping that nobody knows the type of lifestyle that they're in or what they're involved in or what the big plan is. Yeah. We got haunted, giving money, and bad reputation. I feel like this This is something that was learned behavior. Like they've watched other people in their past do things to get money, okay? And could have even felt like, well, they're still pretty. They still out here, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, so I'm going to do it too. Okay, but this is what's giving them a bad reputation. I don't feel like they understood, you know, the... The consequences of the actions they were taking. Somebody is really haunted about what they were doing to receive some sort of cash. And it wasn't in a good way. Like, I'm telling you, this is things like embezzlement, okay? Um, insurance policies. I told you, like, sleep paralysis, sleep apnea. Somebody could have tried to, could have took somebody out in their sleep, okay? But somebody's haunted by the actions that, of what they did in order to receive some sort of finances here, okay? Whether this is storms. Rolling somebody under the bus, right? Throwing somebody under the bus, um, shitting on somebody, raining on somebody's parade, you know, cr making their crum cr crumb their foundation. Somebody is, you know, trying to knock people's crowns off, make their foundations crumble, okay? Somebody is being haunted by the actions that they have taken in order to receive this money. And I feel, and it's really, you know, like they was doing this all for image, but somebody was really stuck on that mentality of, you know, like when they say that you comment, whether it's a good comment or a negative comment, it's still a comment and you get paid. Somebody got nothing but negative and they kept feeling, well, I don't care. Like people are still giving me attention, whether it's positive or negative, it's still attention. But they kept getting nothing but negative attention and they thought that this was okay as long as they were getting attention. And now they feel bad about it. They feel away. And I feel like they're looking behind their shoulder all the time and trying to figure out if people know what they're up to or what they're doing. Yeah, man, I can't make this shit up. Somebody is hurting right now. Their ego is hurt. Somebody knows that they, they... Somebody is low. What's creeping? Somebody is low. They stoop the lowest of the lowest with this one. Yeah, it's the same shit, different day. Like, this person is constantly looking over their shoulder. They're always afraid, worried. Yeah, they're always constantly looking over their shoulder, trying to dodge bullets and shit like that. You know, they don't want to address their issues, okay? Yeah, we got stalker in reverse. Stalking, watching, obsessed. They're not trying. They, they're hoping that people aren't paying attention to them and aren't noticing what's going on. Yeah, because they out here fakes on. They're putting on the front. And they're hoping nobody is like paying attention and picking up on this. Stalking in reverse. Yeah, but no, people really see this. They're seeing this on their real accounts. Like nobody's like hiding, you know, whatever. People are really seeing things for what the fuck it is. And they're just like, whatever, that's you. That's what you do. But they know not to fuck with this person. What's hooked? Yeah, somebody was hooked on looking you up and trying to be like you or be better than you or something or trying to figure out how could they outdo you, outshine you, or get you caught up in some mess. Yeah, forcer. Okay? Somebody was trying to figure out how to force something on you or force a narrative on you because they wanted you to be looked at the same way that they really are. Like somebody was really, yeah, this is a karmic right here. This is a karmic individual who's obsessed with you, who can't see you. They keep, they was trying to wage all these wars and physical wars and spiritual wars and argue with you and get you caught up in shit. But no, like it's not there. Now they're just stuck watching you, waiting for you to respond or say some shit to them. Yeah, but you're not going that way. Like you're not going to go, and go back and forth for no social media war. Like you're not about to pop up in nobody's DMs, talking all this and that. Like you're, you're not doing it. Yeah. You're not. You're not about to catch a case. Not with this person. They're not worth it. This is somebody, and they they feel like shit because they're catching a case. What's this bad reputation? Yeah, this person is reflecting heavily on the things that they have done, what they have said, what they have tried to do to other people. Yeah, this happiness hater. This is literally a hater who look at what other people have and go out and either try to replicate it or will literally try to steal shit from people. Exactly. Cock block it. Like, if you in a happy marriage or in a happy relationship or shit, nobody even got to know that it's happy. They see you posted a picture with you and you could say, my boo. 
and you and your boo, that boo could throw you downstairs, beat your ass every day. But in their eyes, you got a boo that they don't have. So they're going to go and try to mess with and sleep with your boo. At the end of the day, to find out this boo is abusive and, and beats your ass. And now they getting their ass whipped and they reflecting on this shit. Yeah, trying to cock block. Tell me more on this reflecting. Yeah, they thinking about all the dirt that they was trying to dig up on you. All the stuff that they was trying to place on you. To yeah, because they were threatened. They were intimidated by you. They're thinking about how they acted out of a, a real low insecurity. Like, tell me about this obsessive lover, this karmic. Yeah, cock blocking, feeding off you, jealous, stealing your ideas, stealing your work. Like I said, somebody saw you and saw a glimpse of your life and felt like they wanted it so bad, but they didn't want to put in the work. They didn't want to do it, what needed to be done. This is somebody who's avoiding calling themselves accountable, accountable for things, okay? Yeah, they're rejecting calling themselves accountable. This is somebody who is rejecting dodging bullets. Like, they like being caught up in the drama and the mess. Y'all are thinking about it. They ain't had no problem doing this shit about a week ago. Yeah, you unfazed by this shit. You are highly unfazed by this shit. You just minding your business because you know that these are groupies. You know they want to be like you when they grow up. What else? Yeah, this happiness hater cannot move on. They cannot move on at all. They are stuck on you because they know that you the shit. They on you like a fly. You could be seeing flies, monitoring spirits. They on you like flies on shit, baby. Let me tell you something. What's this dirt digging? They were seeing who wanted you back and only to find out that you didn't want nobody back or they was trying to prove that you wanted someone or you was trying to steal somebody from them or be back with somebody or, you know, take something. Somebody could have felt like you wanted a position again, no matter what this position is. Somebody feels like you wanted a position again. OK, but I feel like you don't. Yeah, it's played out. You don't want the job. You don't want the person. You don't want the friend. You don't want none of that shit. You done moved on with your life. And somebody is really sitting here thinking about all the things that they did to steal your life or ruin your life only for them to end up ruining their own. Yeah, this fake smiling bitch. This person with this bad reputation is wolf in sheep clothing. So let's get it. We're going to pull from the new spirits. Yeah, and they fake flexing like a motherfucker. We're going to pull from the badass tarot. Let's pull from the badass tarot because this person feel like they're a badass, but we about to show them exactly how much of a badass they are. Seven of Swords, Energy, Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody who... Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? For the collective? What do they need to know about this message? Divine Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? What do they need to know, the Holy Spirit? What does the collective need to know? Mm -hmm. Sticky. Shit got sticky. They ain't expect this shit to go this way. And it did. So, oh well. You reap what you sow. Yep. <laughs> you reap what you sow. Forget about it. Forget about it. You reap what you sow. Yeah, somebody is now have to drink their own poison. That, that cocktail that they made for you, they have to drink it themselves. Somebody is going down. She in a graveyard. Look, she got flowers on her head. This person who fake smiling, all these flowers, look, it's the same bitch. Two different decks, same bitch. And it's crazy because even when you look at bad reputation and stuff, even though she's in black and white, it's like the same makeup. It's the same bitch. The same bitch. It's over. It's a wrap. It's a done data. What the collector needs to know? What do I want in five? Yeah, french fries. Somebody could like french fries. Leo Energy, though. Something is... Somebody is fried. How about that? Somebody could be French, but somebody just got fried. They got burnt. Okay, this exposure, whatever has came out, really got this person fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> nine of wands. <laughs> they are pissed. Something about sunflowers right here. Yeah, the sun is very important. Like, somebody doesn't like the fact that their toxicity, their stench, their filth, their envy, their jealousy is all being illuminated. Somebody is pissed the fuck off. Sagittarius energy, what I tell you? Somebody's on something heavy. I said somebody could smoke something, but look, he's snorting, okay? Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, the Mercury energy here. Somebody is pissed off that they can't manipulate a situation. Somebody also is getting dumb high to, like, do whatever ritual shit they were doing or divination. Like, somebody get on shit. Yeah, all over a relationship. Two of Cups. Like I said, somebody was looking you up to see, you know, if you were going to go back to a relationship or a job or something. Okay? Somebody got too high on their own supply. Oh, shit. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. And now somebody could be missing an eye. Okay? You shoot your eye out, kid. Yeah, somebody setting themselves up. Okay? Like a Christmas story, this is another story. Okay? 
Five of Pentacles here at Taurus, though. Yeah, somebody done put themselves out in a cold with them. Yeah, and look, the mugshot. Judgment. They going to fucking jail, bro. Either they going to Yale, like they're going to a hospital, or they're going to jail, bro. Like, that's just what it is. What's underneath the deck? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, because somebody really thought that they control something or hold something down. Look, she doing something strange for a piece of change, boy. And it's coming to light what somebody was doing for a piece of change. Yeah, game over, bitch. Game the fuck over. Talk about this Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. I'm back, bitches. Yeah, somebody is pissed off. Like, a door has been opened. A light has been shined. Okay, somebody from a different galaxy. Like I said, somebody could feel like you're an alien or some shit like that. I said that. You exposing somebody. You could be standing up for yourself. And it's like, fuck you, bitch. Everybody about to see these nasty fumes that you emitting. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you're a sugar daddy. Okay? The sugar mama. You, you a sugar baby. You fuck with people only for their finances. You don't love these hoes. These hoes don't love you. Or they don't love these hoes, but they, they be out here hoeing. They did all of this uh, to get somebody the fruits of somebody's labor. Okay, Knight of Cups energy, Pisces energy. Somebody is trying to move in with some sort, and you're just like, fuck this shit. Somebody's trying to come back, like, somebody's trying to come back into your world after trying to, to destroy some shit as well. And it's like, forget you, fuck off. Definitely. Whatever they were trying to manifest is game over. It's fucking snorting ass pill popping is over. Yeah, gluttonous as fuck. They're in their head thinking about how things used to be or what the shoulda, coulda, what is, what could have happened. I'm telling you, this person is there in heavy reflection and contemplation. If not, this is what's going down in the next month. Yeah, exactly. What are the sweet dreams? But it's like wheat dreams. Okay, plans, ambitions, goals, eight of cups. Somebody... Wanted you to walk away from a relationship or an offer or a job or like friends or family or something. They want you to walk away from your goals. Somebody wants you to lack ambition. You ain't even, you think you the shit, bitch, you not even a fall. It's some tissue right here. Somebody thought they was the shit. No, they're not. Yeah, I'm telling you, pill popper right here. Okay. Somebody heavy in their ego. Somebody wanted you to not believe in yourself. Oh shit. Look, the Empress in reverse. This is the person who's at a loss right now. This empress in reverse, this fake smiling bitch. She done sacrificed herself, and everybody is seeing her upside down. And she can't, she can't say shit. There's nothing else she can say. It done made news. It done made headlines. Everybody sees this bitch for who she is. The devil in a red dress. It's crazy. I had a dream about a devil in a red dress some years back, and she told me like when I, like when everything was happening, I finally what. So all this shit happened in a dream. Okay. All this shit happened in this dream. And at the end of the dream, when I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm just moving on. And I took my kids and I left. And the bitch in the red dress was like, oh, you're leaving? <clears throat> and I was like, yep, I'm done with this. I don't care what happens anymore. God said I can't, you know, partake and can't help this man. Like, whatever, I'm out. And the devil in the red dress was just like, mm, good. That's exactly how I want it. And then they walked down some stairs, like going down into hell. This is a demon. Like they set this shit up and they felt good and confident about doing it. But now that everybody sees that they are the one who is truly behind this, they're like the head honcho, the, the, the main like plotter, right? They came up with this plan. Everybody is seeing this. This person's going down. This is an empress in reverse. Yeah. And this bitch is out here crying a fucking river. Like, come on, bro. You didn't give a fuck when you was doing this shit. What's this judgment? Yeah, Queen of Swords. They getting a book thrown at their ass. I'm telling you. Somebody's going to jail. Queen of Swords is law. That's a lawyer, a judge. This person is being found guilty. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. This delusional motherfucker who came up with this plan, this air energy. They came up with a plan with a group of people to monitor you and to watch you and all of that shit, okay? Like I said, flies shit flies to shit. All these eyes, they were watching you, okay? They got other people to work with them, all right? People in your community, people who were close to you, okay? They got them to come up against you. They thought of this with this air right here. They are the head, the, this empress in reverse, and they worked with other people, and now they feel like shit. Yeah, this person does not have the strength. <laughs> maybe they had some sort of pull or some sort of power. You know, maybe they were able to cast some illusion with some sort of beauty that they had, but people are seeing that it's all a facade. It's all a facade, yeah. Um, I am free of your bullshit. This person is not free. They kept trying to manipulate people. They don't even have the strength to do this anymore. Yeah. They wanted to be a badass so bad. Yeah, you're just bad. You're bad with a bad ass. Somebody got a bad BBL job. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, Lucy, she wildin', okay? <laughs> she wildin'. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles. 
Somebody could like playing bingo or like I said, taking a lot of risk and gambling. Somebody really thought that it was going to sit up on top of it all. This person could have been sacrificing babies. Okay. Yeah, five of wands. Oh, shit. My bad. I want to... <laughs> I realized it was on the picture. My bad. Um, yeah, like, ooh, wow. Seeing I can't even show this. Ace of Wands. This person, they don't even have the strength or they can't even do what they was doing anymore with all of these panemises, right? They can't even do this anymore. I'm going to just put this face down. I know what this is. Like, they can't even do it. Like, their body can't take it anymore. Ace of Wands. Some, this is somebody who's also getting trains ran on them, okay? Yeah, they didn't want people to know this shit, okay? Codependent as fuck. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They were codependent on other people. They was using like fake abortions, fake pregnancies and stuff to gain money to keep people, you know, cashing in on child support checks and shit like that, taking care of themselves, not the fucking child. And like I said, somebody was sacrificing children. Somebody don't even like the opposite sex. They actually like the same sex. But they just use, they use what they got to get what they want. Yeah. And then they sitting out here watching. Okay. Like I said, stalking you on all your social medias. And everybody else is seeing what the fuck they're doing too. The light is being shown on this person. People are seeing them as the freak that they are. Okay? Yeah. Look, it's a dude dressed up like he's very manly. But look at this. King of Cups. Like manipulated energy. Like uh, this is definitely like a female and karmic masculine. Yeah. Then they're stressed out. They're worried. They didn't want people to find out that they was this big of a whore. Yeah. That they was out here having car sex, walking the street, just fucking on multiple at, at the same time. Like they didn't want anybody to notice. People are seeing this. Yeah. Look at this. Three of swords in reverse. Bring me no harm. I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah. Like I said, this person sacrificed themselves. They can't get anybody. They can't break any more hearts. People know what they're doing. This person is disgusting. Yeah. Everybody knows the games that they're playing. They're blocking them. Seven of wands. This person is nothing but a fucking walk, walking caution or warning. There's a big ass warning on this person. Warning. Don't fuck with them or your health will be bad. Right? Yeah. And look, now they sitting here. Exposed. This person is exposed. For what? Being a pill popper, drug addict who do nothing but this all day. I don't care, YouTube. You're going to have to do what you're going to have to do with, with, with the fucking censorship. I'm going to pick these up, though, because <laughs> I love this deck, but it got some some raunchy-ass images on it. But it's like real life, because somebody really think they badass. And look, we want to expose this badass culture you want to live in. You bad, all right. Fuck smiling, trying to act like you innocent. Yeah, now people know you exactly for who you are. Uh, that's the reason why God guided me to get this deck because I've been seeing this deck for a minute and I was like avoiding to get it. Mm. Broke back mountain ass energy in here, okay? Like it's weird as fuck. Yeah, like there's mm -mm, nope. There's two men who could be plotting to take out a woman here, okay? She could have had a threesome with these two men or uh, not even a train ran, I guess, or whatever, or a threesome with these two men and these two men like each other more. And I don't know, the the men fell in love with each other and they want to knock this woman off, not want to deal with this woman anymore or some shit like that. Hell, it could be the other way. It could be two women who had a threesome with a guy. And now, like I said, because she's a master, the master, the plan master, right? The master manipulator. They came up with a plan to like take this man out to get something or like the whoever the main chick is. She's trying to like marry this man or convince this man to like leave something or sign something over to her or allow her to be like, you know, a recipient to something. And her and the other chick got a plan to take this man out so that they can walk away with the money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what we got here. What the collective need to know about this message? Spirit says that we're gonna see. We'll start with one half, then I'll grab up that other piece when I'm ready. Yeah, somebody could be Puerto Rican. This came up in the last reading. Somebody could. Be, what's going on, Spirit? What the collective need to know? What's going on? For those of you who don't know, there's been more cards added to this deck. That's a lot. Enough, enough, enough. Like, that's the stack that I need to see because I've shuffled the hell out of this. It says, if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. I'm telling you, this is somebody, a party. They like to party all the time. And my girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Somebody named could be Eddie. Okay. Or somebody thought this was real comical. Edward, Edwin, Eduardo. I feel like somebody keeps trying to, like, call in their ancestors to fix the situation, and they're ignoring the fuck out of them. 
Yeah, that presidents. <laughs> What's understood don't need to be explained. Okay, so let's keep going. Said I don't need thorough explanation. It would just come out in the cards. But I need to get this second half ready because that's just the way my mind works. Before I see the bottom of this deck, we're going to keep this face down and see what came out. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could be from the United Kingdom or reunited and it feels so good, baby. Yeah. For, but yeah, for better or worse, until death do its part, you started with a canvas and we turned it to the art, into some art, us versus the world. Like I said, somebody could have been doing something on a global scale. Okay. They could be from the United Kingdom and they doing a whole bunch of shit in the States. Okay. Because I, I listed a lot of places that was in the United States. Okay. They could be going to Korea, the United Kingdom, whatever, the U.S., okay? US, us versus the world, but it's like U.S. versus the world. And I'm telling you, something about a world war or some shit going on, okay? United Kingdom, mm, child. Yeah, rope and duct tape, trying to hold something hostage here. What else we got? We got a star seed here. You could be a star seed. You could be from United Kingdom or have family ties there, okay? Yeah, this person drives by your house. Somebody is obsessed with, like connecting energy with you or trying to have some sort of energy tie with you okay yeah don't worry they do this behind you because they can't get ahead of you 11 11 make a wish okay somebody could also be getting ready to travel maybe you want to travel to um the uk all right safe travels maybe you're being guided to go that way towards the uk or something like that every time you call she's never home you deserve so much more i can treat you better you don't gotta go home somebody is seeing, like like I said, for relationship-wise, somebody's trying to see if somebody's back dealing with you. They're driving by your house to see if they see this person's car outside your house or something like that. They're trying to persuade somebody to come back to them or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Yeah, pregnancy, because they're trying to trap them. Like I said, this is, this is what this person does, okay? Or they could be hollering, I'm pregnant. You need to come back and be with me or be with me because I'm having your baby. Yeah, but almost doesn't count, bitch. If it was a fifth. If I was pregnant, you'd be here. If I hurt myself, but if you leave, I might hurt myself. If <laughs> you might, <laughs> right? Yeah, look, Belly, Tommy, and Keisha. And then I have another card that I made, and it was um Sincere and Tion. So it's like, if you know the movie Belly, it's like the relationship of Tommy and Keisha kind of gave me like, like karmic energy. He would cheat on her, all of that. He was rough with her, you know, um, didn't have much respect. You know, it was really just um, a sexual connection or whatever about them stacking money. You know, he, she was his down bitch. OK, but then when you got um, Sincere and Tion, you know, they had the family life. He wasn't really trying to be running out any streets. He was trying to cut that shit out. He was more the quiet one, the more silent mind. He was really around to keep Tommy under control so Tommy wouldn't do no stupid shit. Right. So, yeah, whoever this is, they was trying to have like that Tommy and Keisha relationship. OK. Like, this is a Keisha. She don't give a fuck what her man do as long as she's getting paid, okay? And we saw this. This bitch was doing shit for money. He out here reckless. She could be messing with gangsters and drug dealers and thugs and all that shit. People who hot-headed and, you know, got bad temper. She could be um, lying to these people so that they can go back and, you know, hurt folks that rejected her because they know who she is. What's going on? Ooh, what's going on? Somebody is on the edge or somebody drives a four edge. Okay. You could be seeing flies or spirits. I'm telling you, monitor flies or gnats. I'm telling you, monitor and spirits. Okay. Somebody's on the edge because they can't see what's going on in your life anymore. What else spirit? <clears throat> Something is definitely coming to light with the Sunday energy. We got Leo out here. Yeah. Somebody gonna need to get a lawyer or you could be receiving a message from a lawyer or something about this shit. Yeah, the magic hour. Somebody could be receiving messages or documentation from a lawyer about some sort of lawsuit or some sort of case that you're winning unbeknownst to you. Maybe this person filed some sort of false claim against you and it came back that this person was lying. So now um, somehow the courts did like a countersuit for you while you weren't there or some shit like that or they bought up a case against this person for false allegations and you could be finding this out but from a lawyer okay receiving some sort of paperwork that somebody you know tried to file some false cases against you or whatever false reports about you and you're receiving some sort of messages so that you have the ability to now press charges against this person or so that you become aware you're pressing charges yeah this is coming to light with the sunday energy okay like i said i don't care if i lose everything i'm going to ruin you sign the karmic and that's what they were doing they was out here um, lying making up shit on you keeping secrets yeah grow up like they got kids but yeah they out here kidding around okay
grown ass people. And then they do stuff and don't realize that the karma comes back on your children or your family members or those that you hold near and dear. It's like the story of Ms. Robinson and Ms. Patrick, bro. Like, again, I think that was in like South Carolina and it's crazy because like I said, that's a relevant thing. <clears throat> a year from now, you're going to like be in such a better position here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could drive a Nissan Rogue or somebody's going rogue. Okay. Somebody has gone rogue. Okay, a year from now, somebody's really going to be tripping and lose their mind because they're going to see that you've been blessed. All those people who abused you and stuff since you were a child or a teenager who talked about you, who looked down on you, it's all good because you walked by faith, not by sight, and God led you where you needed to be. You kept you kept your faith, which was believing in God's promise. And you've been like that since you were a child, okay? You've had this anointing over you. Somebody could drive a Lexus, okay? Somebody's been trying to hurt you and do stuff to you over an insurance policy, whether this is home life or a car insurance policy. Somebody was trying to cash out on you. They've been plotting and planning this since you were a child, okay? You could be from the United States, all right? Yeah, somebody needs to go to the clinic. Somebody's trying to keep secrets about their test results or some shit from a clinic, okay? Somebody could drive a Lexus and work at a clinic, okay? What else? What else does the collective need to know? Thank you. I'm taking this off the top. Yeah, because God says so. Speak your truth. Continue to speak your truth because God said so. Okay? Especially about this childish bullshit. Somebody could drive a bus. Um, It could be a school bus. I have a car in here that's actually yellow school bus. But this could be a city bus. This could be like a Greyhound, Peter Pan type of bus. Okay? Um, You know, that cold type of thing. Okay? We had the initials B H N T Y, first, middle, last name, nickname, okay, street name. I'm also hearing city name. Um, you could be seeing the numbers two, five, and six, okay, but this bitch is getting cut off. Or whoever, like, if you have these initials, you need to cut that bitch off. Or if a bitch you fucking with got these initials, you need to cut that bitch off because flag on the plate. This bitch is trash. She garbage. Okay, she is Basuda. She too prideful and thinks she know it all. Could be dealing with somebody who's born in August. Could be a Leo. Could be a Virgo. Divine feminine, you out here. You're a teacher, you're a professor here, okay? That wanted to stay behind. Thank you. You're a nurturer. You teach. You lead by example as well. Yeah, somebody doesn't want you to leave them, Divine Feminine. Somebody could drive a Kia, okay? Somebody doesn't want you to leave them, okay? I'm late. This is Page Cup, Five of Cup Energy. Somebody from your past, they need you, okay? They act like, I act like I don't care, but I do. You was a real one. I fucked up, okay? Somebody could be from D.C. Okay, this person could be younger than you, okay? But yeah, this this is about gossip. And somebody could have even left you because of some sort of gossip and slander. But then they studied and found out that whoever this is, this bitch was lying. Somebody was stuck in their pride and ego and really just wanted to ruin some shit. Somebody was manifesting on that lion gate, that lion's gate last year, okay? To like fuck you up, all right? But you out here speaking your truth, and that's what's overturning this gossip and slander. And now somebody realizes, because somebody, everybody is studying you now, Divine Feminine, and they're realizing that you're of the truth, and all that lies and shit wasn't, and now somebody want to come back. But they know that they're too late. Yeah, music, you could be receiving messages or downloads for somebody from music, but it's over. It's a wrap. Like, you're not dealing with this energy no more. You're done. And an own is on and on is gone. So wrong, so wrong, so wrong, so wrong. Yeah, one, three, three, manifesting your goals, dreams, desires, okay? This is about self-reflection, all right? Somebody from Dominican Republic could be doing this, okay? Or you could have somebody from Dominican Republic who wants to be with you and only you, okay? They've been manifesting and thinking about you. Somebody could be my manicum, okay? Ow. What else? Anything else from this stack? Somebody's name could be Ebony or you're like somebody's Ebony Queen. Or again, this could be a dark-skinned Dominican, okay? Ew, papi, mommy, what it do? Okay, or again, that's Cousin Ebony energy. Watch out. <laughs> okay? Somebody could be like, look, I only want you. Like, I want to be with you and only you. But you could have a cousin who out here trying to fuck with this person or trying to make it seem like this person's into them too. And that's not the case. Somebody's trying to make it seem like somebody's into them and they're not. They're only doing this and trying to spread out these rumors and these lies because they want to stop you from actually giving this person a chance to mind feminine. This person wants nothing to do with them. Nothing. Anything else? Um, that's a no. Yeah, somebody out here playing in the graveyard, which we already saw here with this dirt digging. Okay? All that shit is ricocheting and going back, bitch.
How you like that? You probably don't, but bitch, you ain't nothing but a fucking joke. Uh -uh. I'm a poet, y'all. I be writing shit from time to time. Yeah, your cries send out spiritual warriors, okay? Like, that's what happens with you. Like, when you cry, yeah, there was up to 10 people who was in on this, okay? Somebody could definitely drive a Kia. They was out here doing love spells. Somebody is wiretapping it and listening to all your conversations, trying to hack into your accounts. They do this shit late at night, okay? Like I said, Chicago. Somebody could be from Chicago, okay? I don't know if you can give me two more. Yeah, somebody's a fraud. Somebody was doing um fraud, fraudulent transfers. There could be offshore or overseas accounts or something like that. Yeah. And somebody's just like, look, I need your touch. Okay? Like, I need your touch. I want to be with you and only you. I need your touch. Somebody's definitely doing a love spell here to block some sort of... Somebody named could be Kia and they're trying to, like, stop something. Yeah, we got a karmic confession underneath the deck. It's not fun when you aren't toxic like me. Is that why they like you? <laughs> what the fuck? Going on. Let's get some heart hidden desire because um, I don't know. Somebody want to be like you so bad. They hate that you're like you, but they want to be like you because they want the attention you get. And I don't fucking know. Yeah, look, elusive and lustful bitch. <laughs> A deceptive lying whore. Yeah, I meant that. Let's see. Yeah, somebody is stuck in a fantasy dream lover. Come right. And I was hearing, like, oh, what? Mariah Carey. A fantasy. That's funny. <laughs> and it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, this is a past life situation that's going on, okay? Deja vu, karmic lessons, okay? Yeah, it, it was time for this to happen now, okay? I feel like they was causing a lot of confusion, right? But now they're tired, okay? This person is also, like, their emotions and stuff is getting blocked up and their heart chakra is getting fucked up. This person is losing their shit. Yeah, they was chasing around behind cheap thrills and they realized at the end of the day, who wants to commit to an unfaithful whore? Yeah, now this person isn't feeling unstable right now because they know commitment is not for them. It's not going to happen. What's this past life energy? Yeah. This great pretender. It's a karmic lesson. Somebody was out here pretending. They didn't know how to find their own way or to live their own life. They wanted to be like everybody else that they saw. Yeah, and now they don't left themselves in this conflicted energy here because of the, the bad choices, the multiple options, the things that they were doing that weren't in alignment with them. And now somebody is stuck dealing with these lessons that they have to do. What's this heart fog and exhaustion? Yeah, confession. <laughs> I'm coming clean. Like somebody, I feel like... I, I, when that's what could be happening in the month because again they're not going to have no choice i feel like somebody could be admitting something on their deathbed okay or like just finally breaking down i'm here like at sentencing they're saying you know what happened because they want people to have remorse on them they want the sentence to go easier they want the the pain to go away um they they're i heard they want the death to go quicker like somebody's dying slowly and they can't take the pain yeah somebody wants to come clean about all the mistakes that they've made Again, because they somebody could have even fucked up a marriage. Yeah, somebody fucked with a foundation. Yep. Somebody was timid or intimidated by this shit, okay? They did all that they could. This was a stalker, somebody who was watching somebody else's relationship from the outside in the dark, okay? Playing in spiritual bullshit, all right? Like I said, gray yards and all that. And they broke up relationships, happy homes, families, or whatever. And now somebody feels bad. They feel bad about it because nobody wants to be with them. Exactly. They're abandoned. Nobody wants to be with them. They was living in this fantasy thinking that they could have and be with anybody and steal other people's lives. And now nobody wants to deal with them. They're, they're toxic. Like, yeah, that is why. Like, you're toxic. <laughs> Toxicity. And they keep chasing. They chase behind any and everything. Like, it's a crave. It's an itch. This person has an addiction. Could be a sex demon or something on them. What is this? Yeah, distance. Blockages. They're being blocked. Yeah, there's no more good times for this person. Like, people are leaving and getting away from this energy. They're separating from them. Yeah, and this is stressing them smooth the fuck out. Because they don't know what the fuck to do. Like, people have closed off from them. They have no words. The, the, at the end of the day, the only words that really need to come out their mouth is the truth. And confessing what they've done. How even if you just confess to our father who are in heaven, yeah, because they try to cast all these illusions and they realize that's the only way is to clear out all these illusions. Will they do this? Somebody does not like your kind heart. Or maybe one day this person will, you know. No, you don't move on and let go. I feel like it really doesn't matter. Yeah, because you walk by faith, not by sight. So I really it, it doesn't really matter. Like 
to you. I feel collective. What's this beauty and releasing? Yeah, it doesn't matter to you because you're working on yourself. Like, you're not. You're done. You got the closure that you needed. You don't need closure from this person. They can feel stuck and trapped all they want. Like, you, really, you, you don't care. Like, the time has come. Like, you're at peace with everything. Okay? You've been running from a situation. Yeah, you're no longer thinking about this. You're at peace. Okay? You have this closure. You have all the closure that you need when it comes to the situation. Yeah, like I said, you're aware. Car stay behind. You're very much so aware. Uh-huh. You know somebody's not loyal. You can't trust them, okay? And and I feel like this is shocking to somebody that you know you realize that. Like, bitch, you're not loyal. And I feel like it's shocking to them that other people are becoming aware to the fact that this person, yeah, they got clarity. Screenshots, truth. Like I said, something's making headlines. People seeing this on the news, social media, whatever. But somebody now understands it. Like, a community. People now know that somebody was obsessive. They were spying on you. They were clinging on you. They was um trying to, like, clutch your energy, right? Trying to absorb your energy. Somebody was clinging on you. Everybody sees the truth. Like, they know that somebody wasn't trustworthy. They're a whore. They're a liar. Right? And now this person is in deep sorrow and grief and regret. All over a twin flame situation or a divine counterpart here that you had. Yeah, all over a man. Or all over a masculine. Somebody did some stupid shit. Lusting. Right? Being mysterious and concealing. And trying to be in this fantasy world. All over a masculine. Especially a masculine who was trying to leave them. They were calling, causing all this conflict in his life. And spying on this divine feminine. And wondering if they were sleeping together. And then having all these negative thoughts to cause some sort of blockage and delays. And now everything has slowed down. This person doesn't even want to deal with them. They could have even had a family with this person and this person like fuck you they're listening to their intuition and this masculine is withdrawing from whoever this karmic energy is and they're feeling conflicted yeah because divine time is at play you don't play we can't play on god's time <laughs> he could play on ours our day but we can't play on his everything is always going to work out in his time in his way no matter what <clears throat> to get mixed up. Yeah, this person feels hopeless. Like a penny with a hole in it. Penny with a penny with a hole in it. You baby. Okay? So. I don't know, Collective. I don't know. I feel like somebody about to go crazy. Let's get some time frames. Why not? I got it. We'll put that over here. If somebody going crazy, let's get some time frames or, you know, see if we can get some more energies out here on this. Let's see what the hell's up. I'm not going to use the book. We're just going to get it for face value, baby. Yeah, I cut on three days, three weeks. The next full moon is in about three day, three weeks. It will work out soon. The next full moon, I'm telling you. We said it in a month. In the month. Within the month. The next full moon. We said that in the last one. What's underneath the deck? We got Pisces. Yeah. Find your center. Stay balanced and grounded here. And then look. Scorpio popped out. Okay. Yeah. Heal the wound. Somebody is about to go through a very deep healing. This next full moon is about to cause such a major release. Oh, Lord. Who else is involved? What kind of thing? We got 12 December. Okay. 12 days is going well now. The next 12 days is looking up for you here, collective. Okay. Yeah. It will work out soon in three days. I'm telling you. One, two, three. Somebody is about to lose their shit. This is going on the right path of what? Aries, okay, in one week. Again, a month. Employ pioneering spirit, okay? I'm telling you, the spirit's about to get on their ass, about to fuck them up. Smooth. They about to get fucked smoothed up. Like, smooth the fuck up. They about to get fucked over. Yeah, five, a tower here. You decide for yourself. Five days, five weeks. So between the next three to seven days, three to 12 days, but definitely by within the next month. Yeah, Monday. Swap ideas, seek advice. Whatever was secret or hidden is about to be revealed. It is Capricorn. Perceived success. All of this demonic shit is about to come out. Well, somebody did too. It is progressing well now. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. So, um, believe it or not, I actually don't want to close you guys out with a... Um, we're going to put some Jesus on this. We're going to get some Proverbs. Because, um, yeah, pray for, your, pray for these people, man. Just wish them well, you know. And pray for them. And wish them well. And send them on their way. Like, that's all you can do. They set this up for themselves. You know? Pray that they find God. You know, that they make their way back home to our Father. Right? And Psalm 23 was definitely, um, verses 1 through 3 was definitely, you know, the, the Bible verse today in the Bible app. So, 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Like these people need to understand God will provide everything you need. You don't need to go and steal from somebody else. You see somebody else with an opportunity or a relationship or something like God gave that to them. Like, why would you want to go and steal something from somebody that God gave them? You don't think God is going to come down on you for stealing from his child or stealing the gift that he already gave to somebody? Do you think that he is still going to continue to bless you while you're out here stealing somebody else's gifts that he is giving somebody else? You're stealing other people's blessings or trying to or interfere with them or block them or stop them. So pray that they can find God again. So they can get back on the right path and see what he has in store for them. I mean, I know, of course, the first thing that he has in store for them is all this karmic debt that they have to pay back. But that's why we're going to pray that, you know, they can get through this and get back on the right foot. Because not for nothing, I don't, I want to see everybody do good. I'm not that type of person. So, I mean, I feel like we all should be able to eat. So, I mean, we all should be able to live comfortably. We all should be able to live in peace, right? Love is love. As on, uh, honesty, like loyalty, you know, trustworthiness, like uh, these are all things that we're all possible, like capable of, you know, having and possessing and showing and expressing. But, you know, you just have those who choose not to. And those are the ones who lose who lose sight of God, like who hurt you. Right. Go heal. Talk to a therapist. Go back to church. I don't know what you need to do, but whatever it is, this ain't it. OK. We got to flatter friends is to lay a trap for their feet. Exactly. Like this person got caught up in the wrong crowd, thought it was all good. They let people get in their ear. Okay. Family, all of that shit. Like it's crazy. Um, will you set your eyes on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly like an eagle toward heaven. Yeah, somebody need to keep their eyes on their own paper. How about that? So Divine Holy Spirit, let's close this out. We're going to get them some... Jesus pieces. Damn, that was a stack. But it's a lot of y'all, so let's see. We got discipline your children while there is hope. Otherwise, you will ruin their lives. Yeah, somebody, this was learned behavior. Somebody was raised this way. Somebody raised somebody to be this type of person. Like, shame on you. You're, and then the crazy thing is, or oh, they could have learned this behavior or seen it growing up. But they were supposed to break this curse. And they chose not to. They carried this curse on. Okay? The light, yeah, somebody is baked, okay? <laughs> the light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and good news refreshes the bones. Like I'm telling you, good things are going to come, 1530. What else we got? These are all from Proverbs, guys. So, yeah, so, and it's crazy. This is the first one that says, a collection of 101 Proverbs to guide your path and enrich your life day by day. So let's get enriched here, okay? As a face is reflected in water, so the heart reflects the real person. Yeah, like I feel like somebody's mask is coming off, okay? People are seeing how somebody truly feels, what their true intentions and motives were, okay? Proverbs 27, 19. Those numbers could be significant. Whatever number I say it could be somebody's age, it could be a year, okay? Or just hold some sort of significance to you, okay? A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. Ooh! Ooh, is that that energy, that threesome energy or whatever, or that group shit? And they turn in like there was fraudulent people. Look, there's up to 10 people in here. Ooh, <laughs> a wise youth harvest in the summer, but one who sleeps during the harvest is a disgrace. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, it's the summertime. You out here getting busy, but nah, this is somebody who wants to try to go and steal what you harvesting. This is somebody who wants to sleep all throughout the summer and then show up in the fall season, especially with this, um, this foliage, and try to steal, <clears throat> steal what you have. Yeah, because greed causes fighting. Trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Um, 28, 25. The other one was 10, 5. Then we have 15, 17 here. Okay, I told you somebody could be getting 5 to 10, baby. Okay, wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. Yeah, somebody was taking in a whole bunch of toxic shit, listening to toxic friends, right? Somebody was trying to tell them, you know, the healthy way, the right way, okay? And they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to believe this person. Instead, they want to go and have the steak with these people that they hate. Because who, oh, I don't want to eat no vegetables. I want steak. Yeah, now you weighed down. You bloated. Your gut fucked up. <laughs> like everything, right? You didn't eat wisely. You didn't have those vegetables, which was that wise words, right? It was a good meal, but you didn't want to. You didn't want to sit with people who were trying to guide you and lead you the right way, okay? Somebody wanted to take control. They didn't want to listen to God, right? God was placing certain people in their life was trying to stand a certain way and they was refusing to listen, okay? But again, 
they had the opportunity. If they would have listened to those wise words, they would have easily been satisfied and they'd be in a better place, right? They wouldn't be going through this or feeling how they're feeling today, right? Or be getting ready to go through what they're about to go through in the next month, okay? Okay. So, yeah, the reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor in life. Yeah, see? You're a God-fearing person. God-fearing man, God-fearing woman. Like it says, your cry sent out spiritual words, okay? Wasn't there another one here about praying or something like that? Yeah, you walk by faith, not by sight, right? You fear the Lord. You believe in God's promise. You, you, you. That is who is guiding your steps. And due to you being humble and listening to God, you will be honored with riches in your life. You will forever be abundant and blessed, okay? Prepare your work outside. Get everything ready for yourself in the field. And after that, build your house. So get outside, get into nature, okay? Roll your hands up, get busy, you know, stack, stack, stack that bread, you know, because it's harvest time, you know. I don't know, somebody cans, somebody likes to can or pickle things or whatever. That's nice. I thought about getting into that at one point, right? I got to get me a, you know, give me a couple years or maybe even next year. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know. Whatever. But somebody could be like, you know, into that or whatever. But it's like literally get. I'm hearing get your papers in order. Get your papers in order. I don't know what that means to somebody. But again, prepare your work outside. Get everything ready for yourself in the field. And after that, build your house. Right. I'm going to leave that for you to interpret how you need to. Um, We don't have 20, 25 come out. We don't have 18, 20 come out, which those were numbers I mentioned. We don't have 22, 4 come out, and now we have 24, 7. The last message says, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Ooh, like we always say when y'all watch these readings, use your own discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. This is Proverbs 3, verses 21 and 23. So preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. I'm telling you, people see this person exactly who they are. They can't they can't put this facade up. They can't put this veil up anymore. They can't hide behind this mask. People see them and know exactly who they are, what role they played, what they did, who all was involved, who all they got involved, and what the who they was attacking, going against, what the plan was, why they did it. Like People see this and they know this now, okay? People have used their own judgment and discernment. They're not going based off of what this person is saying anymore. They're going by what they're seeing this person has done, okay? There are receipts, okay? So, Collective, that has been the message here that I needed to deliver. I hope it reaches who it needs to reach. Share the message so it can get to whoever it needs to reach this, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love your face, but not as much as I love you. And until the next time we speak, peace out.